Hey, you tourists, it's your boy Domination. This is back at the base of Chugga to do so. I'll text me every man I does back. You know, this is real man, Rasa, fake man, Rasa, rural Rasa, fake Rasa, right to where preacher preach on. Welcome to the back of basic broadcast, back of the basic. And today we're going to do a previous episode of Up Song episodes that we did not put in when the episode got started. I put the new episode on from from new episodes of the series, but I'm going to put premium episodes I didn't put in on my channel to review of it instead of the new ones. So we're going to talk about Roy Royce. Here's the sad about this band. And I'm going to tell you a few minutes. They're a good band. Their biggest hit in the 70s called Car Wash. Even in the day, they, 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 they had a movie about it, Car Wash. You know? And it's a great movie. It's a great movie. But I'm going to tell you what's, what's, what's great about the band, but what's so sad the band fall in the mosh of that. Let's talk about Royce Royce. Royce Royce is an American soul and R&B band. I mean, no, my bad. Royce Royce is an American soul and R&B group. They are best known for their several its singles during the 1970s, including Car Wash. I want to get next to you. I'm going, going, I'm going down. Wish a a star, Jay Z sampled that record, and Glove don't live here anymore. Those are big songs, but my favorite is always the Car Wash. Get next to you is good. I'm going down. It's okay. It's good. Mary J sampled that record and Wish Upon a Star, but my favorite of all time has always been Car Wash. All right, the Los Angeles based group comparatively. A degree of dignity of vocals, Grandwood of dignity vocals, Henry and Galvin, the drummer, and Terrence and uh, 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 Terrence Anderson and Con 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 Gas, and Ludwig the Duke, Joe bass, Michael M Moore, the kind of the uh, 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 the axel of axel of a phone, Kevin Captor. Uh, 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 kept, kept, kept the land, the tr trumpet, and lead, lead, lead vocalist, kind of lead, uh, uh, and Ken, Theodore Brown, the tr guitar and the lead vocals, Fred Domingo of the trumpet, and Visley of Dick, the keyboard. The group begins in the early 1970s when members of the several backing up band from the Watts and Inglewood areas of Los Angeles. United and under the name Total Con uh, Total Total uh, uh, Concept Unlimited. Uh, so that's that's a worse name. No wonder why they changed it to that Total uh, Concept Limited to Roy Royce. Because they got their first Royce when they made a hit song. In 1973, this collective of tours, England and Japan, behind Motown Soul, Soul Star, Edward Wynn Star. Star introduced them to Nedman Whitefield. Edward Whitefield. Um, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about that dude. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about that dude, Nedward Whitefield. Um, how they say he was no good and all that until Jimmy Iovine came in and everything was changed, everything. So I've been hearing about some, not some good stuff about him, but he's, but Jimmy Iovine is no, not Jimmy Iovine. Uh, what was his name? Jerry Heller. My bad. Jerry Heller. Once Jerry Heller come in, everything changed when he, when he come in. So Ned Men uh, would feel he was through after that when G G when Jimmy Iovine came in. J Jerry Hell, when Jerry Hell came in, my bad. Jerry Hell came in. Ned would feel what Woodfield would feel when Jerry Hell would come in. That's when he took over everything, and then he cleaned his office, and that's when Jerry Hell would take in the company. It was over after that. <laughs> Woodfield after a decade of. Woodfield at the a decade at Motown wanted to start a company of his own. He took the TCU and actually under his wing 
and sign them to his label, the group now called M Magic One, and began to work with Adley Forley Fair and be, be, be become the studio and the concept of the band for the oh, 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 Undisputed Truth. During a tour stops in Miami, the Ultimate Truth leader, Joe Henry, uh, 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 Harrow, noticed a singer named Cranley Dickley, then, then, then a members of the local group called the, the Jewels. Harry <laughs> Harry informed Woodfield of his own of, 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 of Henry informed Woodfield of his his, his di discovery, and Dick Dixie was fl 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 flew into Los Angeles to 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 audition. And Dixie Woodfield found the the ingredients he felt was missing in the magic one. A Carolomatic Carolomatic female singer. He gave her the stage name Rosa Nowi no, Walt. The original band lined up, now complete and prepared their debut album. During this time, Whitfield was contracted by the film director Michael. Mike, 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 Michael Michael Swanson, fresh from the success of his first fe featured Cooley High, Switzerland uh, offered Woodfield the opportunity to score his next big picture, Car Wash. Woodfield would use the film to launch his new group and begin to compose of it. The, the music based on the script's outline. He and the band visit the film set and soaking up the amulets. This was one of the wrestling insurance in Hollywood in which in which the music was a close bit and the kind of the courtesy with the picture instead of after the fact. It's the spirits of the soundtrack. The group, the, the band name was changed one final time to Rolls Royce. The name was not only re referenced to the movie Animal Bill theme, but it's also put Greg Rose Dixie front and center yep be the main one the main star they always do that to every group they always put the main front the main star of who be the lead singer of the group not paying attention to the rest of them it's always happened to r&b bands rock bands rappers you name it, it happened to everybody even pop acts it happens all the time look at justin timberlake they only focus him they didn't focus on the rest of them and it happened to new kids on i mean new kids on the block and it happened to backstreet boys that's happens they're going to find the sound, the sound of peace of that group to make the sound what it is. They always do that, and I don't know why. It's just, that's just how it is. Farther, it hints as a touch of class, the band shoveled to bring to 1970 soul funk. The movie car wash and the soundtrack are great success, bringing the group in natural fame. Woodfield won the Best Music Award at the Canada Film Festival and the album received the Grammy for Best Emotional Picture Score, the album of the year, released in late 1976. The soundtrack featured three Billboard R&B top t 10 singles, Car Wash, I Want to Get Next to You, I'm Going Down. The first of, do the first of those was also a, no, a number one single on the Billboard popular uh, or some popular music chart. I want to get next to you. Reach number ten. The group followed up the album Roll Royce Two, 
in full boom. Full full booming. Producing two top I mean, two top ten singles. Do do your dance and oh boy. I think they sampled that from Rose Rose uh, Cameron. It's also including Wishing on a Star, which for Rolls Royce was a top 10 hit only in the UK. It becomes notably of somewhere through its cover version during the Cover Girls top 10 singles in 1992. During the 1978, they released their third album titled Rolls Royce 3 Strikes Again, and it's featured falling in love and I feel the I, I, I love the feeling and love don't live here anymore both singles entered the billboard R&B top five love don't live here anymore was a number two hit in the UK and would later gain greater exposure through its cover version most notably by Madonna in 1984 and 1995 the group followed with a series of notable success and that reaching the charts but never gained the status that their premise songs did Dickies left the group in April 1980 and Rose Roy tempted and disbanded however the remains members regroup and enjoyed the line up and keep the group somewhat popular in the UK where they remain and recruit uh, attention. Roy Royce was featured in the TV one a season a uh, 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 season a uh, uh, series unsung during the spring of 2010. The story followed the success and the international era of recruitment of the group. Dixie Crapwood Lynn, Job Job Moore, and Game Editor are the only members of the group who given interviews throughout the program. Dixie now performed as a solo artist in the UK, but mentioned during the interview that she would not mind performing with the group once again but they don't want to form her i tell you that much from 2012 and 2013 r&b vocalist get 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 a uh, get a baby and then uh Riemann joined the group as the lead singer for a few shows additionally Megan and uh, uh, raiders and Traffic Punk sampled their hit, First Come, First Serve, First Come, First Serve, with the song Shooting Stars and Too Long, respectively, on June 25, 2019. The New York Times Magazine lists Royce Royce along with hundreds of artists whole material was reportedly destroyed in the 2008 Universal Fire. Them too. It was fact to them just as much as the other groups and all the rest. Okay. The the this graphic uh this this, this uh, different graphics. Car wash in 1976 and 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 full boom in 1977 strikes again in 1978 rainbow connection fifth 1979 greatest hits 1980 the golden touch 1980s jump street 1981 stronger than ever 1982 music magic in 1984 the show must go on in 1985 Fresh Cut, 1986, and Perfect Love, 1989. Let me tell you something. They didn't explain why they broke up, but I believe, because I watched the episode, I'm going to tell you why they broke up. Because this singer, Gwen Dix, Gwen Rosa Dix, Dixie, Gwen Rosa Dickies, Dixie, she had a problem with this guy right here. 
Michael uh, grabbed more and there was a meeting took place where where she did not show up of the meeting and her manager them came in this is his version of it but it's got to start for her version they, she, the reason why she left the group because they didn't I don't know the way she told it, I didn't believe her version because she lied the way, the way she said it she said she left the group because they didn't show the vision of the part of the group of her music control and that's why she left and stuff like that she couldn't talk to them no more she just gone and left and went back to the UK that's her version his version is different when they had a, a, a some kind of meeting they had her manager called and they came into the meeting basically her manager called or didn't show up or whatever she told Michael uh, uh, Cap, uh, Michael, Michael something, Michael, uh, uh, Kaplan saying she would take 50 cent of her earnings of this group. That is cold. Basically saying to him, the founder of this group, saying that she's going to be the one, get all the earnings of the money of the singing and all that. He told her not only they're not going to give her the 50 percent of the earnings of the group. He also tell her that she was fired. That's what started right there. He said he said he he's not gonna let somebody gonna lit up his house and it's already gonna be lit up for himself. That'll show you that this is what happens to groups. But I blame that from these music producers who bring this girl in and they knew it was gonna be a problem. They didn't like her in the beginning. Cause they gonna let a, a, a person gonna just come in and take over their group. You can't blame somebody like that, especially if they wrote the songs or something. And then she act like this is her group. But she didn't start the group. He started the group. I'm going to tell you what's really sad. It's really not worth it to be in the music groups, man. It's best to go for yourself as a solo artist because it's just like uh, being in the marriage proposal. When you've been with the, the group for so long, it's going to fall apart sooner or later when money involved and the creativity involved and a lot more but that's how it is in the music business that's just what it is that's all but that's all i gotta say i will see y'all uh some other time what i what next two we go uh do a previous episode of our songs i'm gonna see y'all next sunday other than that so we got a lot more so i see y'all some other time it's your boy Domination. This is back in the basic chugging the deuce out takes baby. Till next time. Alright? Alright. Peace. I'm out. Alright, peace.